Hey guys, I'm S. Dan Wolf. Thank you so much for stopping back by the channel. If you get a chance to get your hands on this pack sometime today, maybe you're still an hour away, maybe you're gonna get it towards the end of the day, you, I think, will definitely not be disappointed. I've probably played Planet Zoo more in the last 72 hours than I have probably in the last three months. This is a this is a pretty captivating pack. I think there's a lot of there's a lot of ideas you're going to be able to flesh out. It's going to have a lot of replayability. Um, just I know what we'll do is later on this evening we will jump in and really do a deep dive in the live stream uh, tonight at 7 p.m. Don't forget to set your reminder and come back to the channel and we'll go piece by piece through everything, but this little short rundown, I just kind of wanted to go through some of the highlights, show you what I've created. Um, big, big thank you to Delia and Shante for um, allowing me to have access to the pack early and kind of get in here and get this video created and just get really hands-on with it so I can kind of, uh, kind of just pass some info on to you guys and and let you know my thoughts about it. But yeah, let's just, uh, we'll jump right in. This is the first little thing I came up with. This is my little penguin entrance. And you'll have to forgive me, this is gonna have to be kind of implied. That we'll, we will just pretend that possibly this is some kind of South African penguin um, because I really wanted Suyana to have a penguin section, but it doesn't really make much sense to have a zoo in the middle of the jungle and to still have like a really snowy just I could have went the indoor route but I really just kind of wanted to flesh out this little penguin bay idea so bad that we're just gonna have to we're, we'll just look over that they're uh, that they're, <laughs> we've got some cold weather uh, king penguins here and this yeah this is basically the entrance area to the whole bay we've got the uh, the gray seals in the back where you're, you're greeted by the penguins here. I also thought it would be cool to have a little kid's splash pad. That's kind of what this is. So parents probably wouldn't appreciate that too much, but I know the kids would have fun. We've got our little guys here kind of making their way into the tunnel, pulling everybody that way. I also, this, is, um, this little piece is not usable, but I thought it would be a cool little, almost like a little outcrop here that guests can come out and kind of look over this ledge if the bridge is a little crowded. And then of course up here you have another little, um, kind of like a little above, a little above, above lagoon watching area. This is what, uh, this is what you'll use for the new animal talking points. This can snap to the path or right on the other side of the path. And one thing you will notice about these little guys, they are noisy. You can rah, 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 rah. <laughs> These guys, they definitely let you know they're here. And they, look, he's like, we get the camera out of my face. But yeah, these guys are a blast to watch. But also look at this. If you make your way around the tunnel and down these stairs, we've got a little underwater viewing area as well. And you can still see them pretty good through this glass. Like if you were standing here up against this railing, Maybe just stop by the zoo real quick after work and wanted to stop by and see your penguins before the zoo closed. I figured this would be a really cool little hangout spot. And it actually even rounds this corner. Um, you can go out there and um, it's all connected. The, uh, the gray se what is this little guy doing? <laughs> He's contemplating. The little gray seals have a connecting um, underwater viewing port as well. And they will get up on the little rocks. These are the little uh, fake rocks that you can actually, let me go back into the menu real quick and I will show you. These are your flexi color rock guys. I'll give you this code or if you want to jot this down, this is a really good rock. Like, this is the main rock color that you see right here that I chose to use. It's custom, so it's B-A-A-F-A-2. And I just, it's kind of like up near the, the, the oranges and the browns, but it really fleshes out white really well. But let me just show you, um, of course, you can do these absolutely however you want to do them as the penguins are, are getting boxed up. Even if you wanted to have like some kind of like black volcanic rock, I don't know, you just roll with it. You can, totally flexi color. 
Let's try to get that back to... There we go. So yeah, and then they've got the little beach area over here where the where the little gut with a keeper kind of brings them in and drops them off. There's our little boxed up guys. They're coming down like, hey. But yeah, just love this whole entrance area. I think it came out really, really killer. And in the grand scheme of things, like as far as, oh, um, well, I'll have to show you the, I know I'm like squirrel right now, but look, I'll have to show you the little river otters here in a minute. I didn't quite make their lagoon deep enough for them to swim. So they're still kind of just on top of the water, but they dive down as well. I just, you know, this was the anteater exhibit and I just, I didn't dig it down deep enough um, for them to actually swim. So might have to figure out them a new place, maybe bring the dwarf caimans over here. And I thought this would be a cool little, cool little photo spot right here at their little lagoon. But um, anyways, yeah, as far as the, um, let me, I'll show you up here up top. See, like that sets out there pretty, pretty inconspicuous. I, th I think it flows with the rest of the zoo pretty well. So if you're down here, kind of like at the Flamingo Lagoon, and you're making your way towards the, uh, you know, towards the lion or towards these big shops, he's chasing somebody. <laughs> he's chasing that woman. Um, yeah, just if you peer off to the left over here a little bit, then you come into our kind of like our aquatic zone over here. And then of course, I know what you guys have been really wanting to see, our awesome family of gray seals over here. I've got them a pretty pretty good, pretty deep lagoon as well. They're pretty much all deep water. I figured just give them enough space to, to really swim and explore. Get, give them a lot of different terrain variation inside the habitat so they can like, you know, explore down in the little rocks and the crevices and Oh, she's coming to say hello. Whoop. <laughs> this is so awesome, guys. And we're talking 10 freaking bucks. I think you guys are going to have an absolute fit when you get in here and you start this. And this over here is kind of like a little more shallower section where their waterfalls are at and stuff. You know, I had to have some waterfalls for them. These guys are chilling over here on the beach. They're thinking about getting in. <laughs> Not quite too sure yet. Oh, hello. <laughs> so yeah, and they are having a blast. And here's kind of like our little little waterfall feature here they sometimes they'll feed them if they're if their uh, fish cannon isn't shooting off they'll feed them on this platform and it's funny to watch them all kind of try to wallow up onto this rock to eat but yeah guys like i said if this is any indication of the direction this game is going i am one thousand percent here for it this is just, I don't, I don't want to downgrade it by like my lack of, of, of communication skills with this on how cool this pack is. And look up here. Oh, we got something escaped. Ah, how'd she get up there? <laughs> um, up here, look, I also have the, if you're in the adventure ride, you'll be able to come by and look down onto the seals as well. So their little habitat, their little area will be a part of the will be a part of the tour as well. And then same as the penguins, I've got a little kind of outcrop area here underneath this tunnel. I figured the kids and stuff would love to come out and stand at the edge of this and kind of look down and watch the seals swim by. This just came out so stinking cool. And then of course, like I said, once you're underground here from the penguins we also have underwater viewing of the whole deep side of their lagoon let's see if we can speed it up see if one comes by see how clear it is here they come so see that is pretty stinking clear isn't it you would get an awesome view of them from here So you could even come out here and see the little shallower part. 
<laughs> Come out here and say hello. But what I was saying is, see, I still got a lot of work left to do right here. You could go back up the stairs or if you round the corner here, it's all one big connected paddock, see? You'd be right over here checking out the, the penguins. And there are quite a few of them. And people love to stop up here on the, on the bridge and look down. Because sometimes they'll get up on these little rocks and stuff. They hang out here in the mist. And here's where I, I, another keeper talk goes on right here. So they'll come by and kind of stop everybody and look over the edge and start talking. And so that turned out really, really cool. There's the willow trees you saw in the... Uh, in one of the teaser clips, this is uh, this is the little fake tree right here. As a matter of fact, I will take you in. I know, like I said, we'll do the real in-depth um, on the live stream this evening. But let me at least uh, let me at least get out here and I'll show you a couple pieces. Um, let's go, we'll go into nature first. These are your fake rock pieces, which I am absolutely going to use all over the zoo. They are so stinking well done and just believable that I think you're gonna have a fit with these. Like, listen, these are going into every one of my, of my new exhibits. This is like the big fake tree trunk that you know, you, you got all kinds of different little customization options. This is, um, yeah, this is exactly, I think this is exactly what, what I thought it was going to be, guys. A, a game-changing type mechanic, game-changing scenery. This is, um, this is going to be fun. That, I think that's a dramatic understatement. Let me get the, let's see, the biome, aquatic. Let's see, coming down through here, this is your underwater eelgrass. So we've got that now. Got your underwater hydrilla. I use those a bunch in the uh, in all three of the water habitats. Got the underwater temple plants, and then of course three different variations of the weeping willow. Really, really awesome. Underwater temple plants, like little singular versions. And then check all of this out as far as that. Let me get you over here to some, some concrete. Where can we, we'll go back to the entrance. I kind of redid the entrance. I built this little statue area. Isn't that cool? Just a bunch of animals, like a big Suyana statue. So we've got the curved panels. You've got the little caiman, little dwarf caiman. Signs, little diamondback terrapin turtle sign. There's your little seals, king penguin, tree branch, fake tree branch. These are the new fence, the new fencing piece that comes with the pack. And then of course you you have your straight piece as well. This is the aqua lamp post. and the newly minted little dwarf caiman statue. I'll show you the statues real quick before we take off. A little giant river otter. I got one of them swimming right there, curled up. And then of course they, they've got the concrete style as well. If, if that's your thing, then of course you saw my guys over here at the entrance. I kind of stacked three of them up here So stinking fun. Um, you've got, I love this sign right here they added. Actually, I've got it up on top of my entrance area. I wish they had one like this for the seals too. Um, then you've got your seal statue. Really awesome. Got the little seagull topper. You know, that's what we're missing on there. I gotta, 
I can't believe I forgot that. Hold on. We gotta get us a couple little... We have to get us some little seagull statues up here. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Um, then you see I've used their new little lights here. So we've got the aquatic wall lamp. Really, really awesome. Probably help you steampunk guys out. Forest fog light. And there are a um, host of other little pieces. Now we've got, check this out guys, you've got flexi color um, little roof pieces here. So you can go in and actually change any one of these little roof pieces you need to. That's going to be a game changer for some of you guys' designs. Little mural pieces. River mural. Really, really awesome. Curved murals for like maybe select one of your, your indoor otter habitat. Stained wooden wall. All flexi color. Um, you, if you don't feel like doing piece by piece waterfalls like I used to, look, they put you one in here you can use. Get you some waterfall action going. But yeah, guys, like I said, I will jump in and answer your questions later on this evening. Um, and then, like, you know, then we can really kind of just chill and hang out. I actually have to get ready to leave, leave you for a little bit. I got to go to work unfortunately so you guys get to play all day and uh, I will uh, I will definitely be back this evening let me see if I can show you the uh, I'll show you the little dwarf came in real quick there they are are those guys not adorable took the big crocs out now that they have a swimming mechanic we're gonna have to come up with some kind of new some kind of new lagoon for the crocodiles, you know, maybe even, I was thinking, oh, we got an animal out there. I was thinking even maybe over here at the floating mountains, like let that be some kind of big croc lagoon over there. I think that would be awesome. So we'll see what we can make happen. But yeah, guys, don't forget, let me, let me know down below what you think about the pack. And if you're planning on picking it up today, and once again, big thank you to Frontier for giving me some time to get this worked up and played with and, and presented to you guys. And like I said, I am having an absolute ball and I can't wait to see what you guys start pinging me and, and messaging me with on, uh, on what you all decide to do and kind of what you make happen. So anyways, guys, yeah, I'll jump on out of here. Don't forget to smash that like button if you end up enjoying this video and I'll catch you later on this evening at seven for the launch live stream. See you guys.